Hey Tech Tide fam, ready to witness a jaw-dropping DIY project? Join us as James Bigger builds a powerful, futuristic e-bike from scratch, welding, shaping, painting, and powering it to hit 150 km per hour. This isn't just a bike, it's a masterpiece in motion. Let's dive in. To build this torquey electric motorcycle, he begins by cutting and welding the metal tubes that will serve for the motorbike's main structure. The angle grinder he's using allows him to make quick, clean and precise cuts through metal. However, it's essential to use an angle grinder safely when cutting metal tubes as they can generate sparks and an exponential increase of heat. For the front suspension, he's using a Suzuki GSX-R750, which will ensure the rider's safety comfort and control while riding by absorbing shocks, maintaining traction, and ensuring proper weight distribution. In case you are wondering the exact steps, materials and dimensions of this project, we'll find a multitude of comprehensive plans from every single one of his projects. We believe this project is a great example to demonstrate that it's not necessary to have many tools to achieve an optimal result. Once the rear structure is completely welded too, he joins both parts with a swing arm pivot bar to later install a rear shock absorber and a brushless hub motor. The key point for this intricate project is to make use of computer-assisted design techniques that will grant you with a visual example of the finished project, as well as every of its single pieces. CAD is commonly used in the manufacturing industry to design and develop all kinds of products. CAD software allows designers to create digital representations of objects or systems. These digital models can be 2D or 3D and can range from simple sketches to complex, highly detailed models. Designers can specify exact dimensions, angles, and other parameters, reducing errors and ensuring that the final product meets specifications. Have a look at how good this looks, and we still have work left to do. To create the desired shape, James uses a sawzall to freehand sculpt the polystyrene, which not only takes a lot of skill, but also a trained spatial intelligence. Expanded polystyrene is incredibly useful to designers and creators due to its price and properties. Its composition varies around 5% plastic, and the rest is air, making it a cheap alternative easy to carve with hand tools. It's also non-toxic material, chemically inert, so it isn't dangerous to work with. In summary, it's adequate for prototyping, 
but it's too difficult to manage in large quantities. To harden the structure, James uses four layers of fiberglass and glue to cover the polystyrene parts. This will help the fiberglass get the desired shape, but it needs a lot of treatment. He applies a primer and sands it for optimal texture, as well as layers of acrylic paint and glue, and finishes it with varnish. It's then used as a mold for a type of resin with the mechanical properties to withstand high speed and bumps. In the event of damage, fiberglass components are often repairable, as they can be patched, sanded, and refinished. It is significantly lighter than materials like steel or aluminum, making it a preferred choice in applications where weight reduction is important. After polishing the corners with fiberglass, glue and more sanding, the body of the e-bike is completed. Now that the mount is completely done, last thing to do is a generous coat of paint to finish this assembling process. Let's continue with the installation of the battery and the wiring system of this awesome e-bike. In this case, James is going for a 74.4 volt, 4.3 kilowatt hours Gero battery that will grant this vehicle a 150 kilometers per hour, top speed at 120 volt, making it comparable to most 300 cc ice bikes. In terms of pricing, this bike costs less than a conventional motorcycle and its costs per kilometer in comparison with other petrol bikes grants a huge saving at the end of the day. As you can see, this motorcycle has nothing to envy of other more conventional ones. In fact, the automotive industry is actively transitioning towards producing more electric vehicles EVs due to factors like environmental concerns, government regulations, technological advancements, and changing consumer preferences. This transition needs a large and widespread infrastructure to supply electrical energy, and batteries are expensive. However, EV can match combustion vehicles in terms of speed and power, and it will improve over time. To continue the assembling, a tail tidy is installed to hold the rear turn indicators and the license plate to finish later by fitting and attaching the rest of the completed parts on the chassis. Now it's time to craft the motorbike's seat, and for this matter, he's using a PVC foam board to which heat is applied in order to soften the plastic 
and shape it into a comfortable seat pan. For this purpose, James uses a leftover piece of foam from an old ATV seat cushion and outlines its bottom part following the seat structure. The look of this e-bike is futuristic. Angular design, clean lines, sharp angles and minimalistic decoration. The two front LEDs and the fuel tank remind us of Tesla Cybertruck, which is also painted in black and grey. The long distance between the body and the wheels will enable it to overcome large bumps. Observe how the brake hose is properly attached to the body using multiple clamps to prevent it from falling. How much would you pay for a motorbike like this? Let us know in the comments. Riding a vehicle for the first time always feels special, even more if it's your own creation. It's a safety recommendation to check the brakes, the suspension, and the steering movement at first try. A tire burn can be dangerous, but the rear wheel spin can help you calibrate the engine's throttle in a dramatic way. The friction generates heat, which causes the rubber of the tire to melt into vaporized rubber particles. The asphalt of this road looks old and needs repair, but thanks to the high suspension, James rides comfortably. We recommend a good Kevlar helmet, a thick jacket, boots and strong motorbike gloves with knuckle protection to ride a motorbike. We hope this unique report inspired you to try electric vehicles. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.